Hello friends, today I am going to talk about HTML smuggling technique. This technique is not a new one, but recently I have observed many thread actors using this technique to drop their malwares. In HTML smuggling, the idea is instead of requesting the object from the web server, the malicious payload generated on the targeted device so that it can easily bypass the traditional security, traditional network security and email scanner. It works by exploiting the basic features of HTML5 and JavaScript blob. Let me explain by showing the simple example. HTML5 introduced the download attribute for anchor tags. The download attribute instructs the browser to download file using the href attributes. If you consider this code, this is the simple code. It is used to download mol.zip from this server. The same href tag I can implement using the JavaScript also. If you see this code, I created the anchor tag, uh, anchor tag using the create element. After that, I assign the attributes. This code also used to download the mol.zip from this, this particular server. So what is the problem in this method? When attacker download the sample, security product might be able to detect the sample and also a C2 server. So avoid the detection. Attacker using JavaScript blobs. If you this, if you see this example, the attacker using blob function. So, what is the blob? The blob is immutable object and representing the raw data. Blobs allow you to construct the object and the client itself. I will show you in the example. See, in this method, when victim open a HTML in the web browser, the payload automatically generated in the targeted device. You can see here the payload automatically generated and it's dropped on the machine. So if you show, uh, see here, here there is no URL because it is the particular callout.txt is not downloaded from the server. It constructed from the machine itself. So. If you see this code, first I am assigning the hello, doc, uh, hello world into the data variable. After that, I am pay, uh, passing the data variable and MIME type into the blob function. It will create the blob object. After that, I am creating the anchor element using the create element. Create element used to create a new HTML element with the help of the JavaScript. Okay. After that, I am assigning the blob object into URL uh, create object URL it is uh, represent the URL of an object the object can be file media source or uh, it might be blob function in our case it's a blob object right so after that finally it's I am um, adding into the click function it is used to simulate the click and the anchor object so that anchor tag automatically run that's why when i open this uh, uh, particular html automatically it uh, it construct the hello uh, hello.txt file in the browser and it's dropped finally revoke object url it is used to clear the reference of this url okay this is the normal simple example if you see in the real world example it's a little more uh, complicated so if you see here here, assign the some value, some raw data value into the file. So what I, what, what I did, I took one malicious file, I converted into the base64 values. After that, I store the base64 values uh, into the file variable. After that, I am passing this file into this function. This function used to decode this particular value after that I am storing that uh, value into the data variable then I am passing the data variable into the blob function with the correct MIME type here actually I, I passed application dot zip why because I um, suppose in case if I directly converted the exe into the uh, base64 if I write the exe file, the browser will show the pop-up. I will show that example. See, 
see here automatically it's downloading here it asking some pop-up right so it might be harmful so to avoid this kind of the pop-up so usually what attacker will do they will first add this exe file into the zip then after that the zip file is converted into the base64 that is the real world example so here it's a zip file a zip file data suppose if you directly add the exe file in the mime tab you need to uh, give the correct mime tab in this example you can see here uh, suppose if you are giving uh, here if you order the direct if you order the base64 from the exe file you need to give this mime type okay so this is the simple example for the html smuggling so as i, as I explained earlier the blob function used to pass to the create object url after that it will click is uh, simulate the anchor tag then it will automatically download here uh, some kind of social engineering technique needs to uh, needs to implement for the victim to open the file if you see in another example this is also real world example here if i open so this file used to pretended to be a adobe file and the message also saying the file is not displayed correctly use local downloaded file and also it is the password protected some some of the security product able to extract the zip file also they can also decode the base64 after that they can extract the zip file also right so that what attacker is doing to add add the one layer of defense they are adding the password protected file this is the password protected file if you open using the password inside the file you can see there is the iso file if you extracted the iso file you can see there are four files inside the iso file there are two files are dll file one is calci another one is seems to be some kind of the shortcut file so uh, usually what is happening when you when you executed the shortcut file it will execute the calci application the calci application is a legitimate windows 7 application it will do the side loading into this particular dll then this particular D uh, windows core dot dll this dll used to execute this malicious dll in a separate video i explained what is dll side loading so showing similar kind of example i will link into the description if you consider this uh, code, if you see this code here, they added some more data into it and they added some kind of obfuscation techniques also. Here you can see they uh, added the zip file. Okay, this zip file, base64 converted zip uh, uh, data as a raw format. After that, they added the so much of obfuscation technique to avoid the static detection. These are the real world example for the HTML smuggling technique. I'm going to demonstrate another example. What if you are downloading sample from the remote server at the same time, what will happen if suppose if you are implementing the HTML smuggling technique. Here I'm going to capture the traffic. Okay. Here in the remote server, I'm just going to Grab some of the I'm going to download on dot exe. Okay. If I downloaded the sample, this is a, a payload downloaded from the remote server. If you see this traffic, so here you can directly see the payload. So MC here it's you can directly see the payload and you can go to file in the object you can HTTP here also you can fetch the payload in this case if you are implemented HTML smuggling technique so we will see what we are getting in the Wireshark so again I'm going to recapture it here, um,
So here I when I visited this website itself, it's downloaded mall.zip. You will see the where sir. If you see here, here what we are seeing, we are just seeing the HTML code only. In this here, there is no pay payload. We are seeing the HTML uh, codes. This in this HTML code will deliver to the browser. In the browser, it construct the payload. Suppose if you go to file, if you export the object HTTP, you don't see any payload. Here you can see the only the HTML file, you can extract the HTML file. This is the way attacker is bypassing them. They are um, bypassing the security product. Thank you friends. This is the small demonstration I want to show. Thank you. Thank you very much.